guys. So it's Friday. It's um, Vlogmas. Woo, Vlogmas day five. Vlogmas part five. And I haven't really vlogged at all. I vlogged, I think I was making coffee at one point and just editing. That's all I've been doing today is editing a video. So it didn't turn out to be such a fun vlog. But I'm going out tonight. I'm going out for a kind of dinner, Christmassy dinner. And I'm gonna do my makeup a little bit fancier than I normally would. So I thought we would get ready together and you guys could see how I'm doing my makeup at the moment for kind of evenings out. Because I don't often do a lot of extra fancy makeup on this channel. I do a lot of minimal looks, um, which I love, but it's nice to just put a lot of makeup on sometimes. I have quite a few new products to try out too, so I'm excited to use some of these new bits. I bought a lot of NARS stuff. I'm gonna try them out. I'm also wearing a Christmas jumper, just in case you guys are wondering. So I have actually about three different kinds of foundation. I can't use all of them, um, but I'm gonna have to pick one. I got these two from The Ordinary. Finally, I've been, or you guys have been telling me to try these for so long. And I got the Serum Foundation and the Coverage Foundation in the shades 1.1, which actually look kind of light. Hmm. But I've heard such good things about those, so I'm excited to try them. And I also got this from NARS. This is the Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. And I got this in the shade Gobi. I wasn't a massive fan of stick foundations like this until I tried the Hourglass Vanish Stick, which is one of the best. Um, they're just so easy to do any kind of look with, so I might give that a go today. This also has this like spongy thing on the bottom. Don't think I'm gonna touch that. First though, I have a primer. I never ever prime, um, but I got this one from NARS as well. It's the Radiance Primer. I never say no to a bit of radiance, so I'm gonna pop this on first. Um, I feel like my skin kind of holds makeup quite well because it is so dry, so I never really need to use primers specifically for keeping your makeup on but they always make things look better regardless of how long you need your makeup to stay so yeah i'm gonna do this extra step today it's kind of pink when it comes out it's not super glittery like oh like the dior glow maximizer and the l'oreal lumi primer things like that but i do look radiant do you think okay let's try this foundation oh i need to wet my beauty blender first so i'm not gonna put a lot of this on i'm gonna put some on my forehead, kind of on my t-zone, chin, and we'll go from there. The colour looks okay. I couldn't remember which shade in Nana Shade Glow I was, which would be a good thing to go by. So I went for this one, um, based completely on swatches online. So I'm going to put a bit more on and switch to my buffing brush from Real Techniques. This is just the go-to. I love this brush. Okay, that works so much better. It's really blending in properly. So this is a matte finish foundation, but Honestly, it doesn't really look that matte. I think having a radiance primer underneath has definitely helped. The lighting in this bathroom is so bad in the evening. So, <laughs> I could be doing anything. I could have foundation streaked across my cheek. I probably wouldn't know. Okay, this is new too. This is a concealer from Kevin Aquan. It is the Supernatural Concealer in the shade Light EC1. I am gonna use my beauty blender for this though, because I think that's always the best for concealer. It's actually really pigmented too. It's really covering up my dark circles quite well which is not an easy feat for a concealer to do i feel like it's kind of brightening at the same time too i'm powdering now with um charlotte tilbury airbrush floors finish i'm gonna powder my cheeks quite a bit because i'm using a powder bronzer today so this palette i'm using is from bare minerals in the snazzy packaging i like these um like baked powders in here there's some bronzer some blush some highlight i'm gonna just go into the bronzer from this one this has got a little bit of sparkle in it too and I don't normally like my bronzers to have shimmer but I think in the evening it's kind of nice. It just, you know, makes your face look a little bit disco ball-like and that is fine. That is totally fine. And yeah, I'm going to use a lot of this because I feel like I'm looking a bit pale. I haven't decided what I'm wearing tonight either so either way, I just would like some more colour. When I do quite a lot of bronzer, I usually like to get a bigger brush at the end and just... Just make sure it's really blended in. Get those edges. Um, I might put a bit more of that on later, but we'll leave that for now. I'm gonna do blush. I'm gonna use my fave blush at the moment. This is NARS Madly, not Gaiety. I got it wrong, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I used this in my last makeup video and I called it the wrong name and you guys are still mad about it. <laughs> this is a nice kind of in-between blush color. Um, it's kind of bronzy, but it still has a bit of pink to it, so. I've been putting a lot of this on. I've been over blushing 
but I kind of like that look at the moment. I also have been putting a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I think that's kind of quite a Korean beauty thing to do. And then on my temples too, just to kind of bring it all together with the bronzer color. Should I highlight now or later? I'm gonna highlight now actually. Um, this highlighter is gorgeous. I feel like Bobbi Brown have just nailed Christmas this year. First of all, look at this packaging. It's like this red burgundy, gorgeous reflective thing. And then look at the color. It's so, so gorgeous. It's like this gold, iridescent, really warm toned, gorgeous thing. It's also called Moon Glow, which I love. I love that that's its name. So I'm gonna put quite a bit of this on. Uh, it's pigmented, it's definitely pigmented, but it's not too shimmery. This would look incredible on like a medium to dark skin tone. Anyone darker than me, this would look insane on. Okay, um, I should actually do my eyebrows first. So I've gone back to, or I just bought a new one of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. These always break on me. The um, brush always falls off, which doesn't seem like the end of the world, but can't use an eyebrow product without a brush, it's just impossible. So I have to like carry around the little broken bit or use a separate brush and it's, it's just hard, you know? First world problems, first eyebrow problems. And I've kind of been drawing them in pretty over the top recently, as if I didn't do that enough already. I've been going really, really heavy underneath. So this bit here, I've been really filling it in, even though there's not a lot of brow hairs there. I haven't actually had my brows done for, I wanna say like, six months, maybe eight months. I haven't even plucked them, I haven't touched them. We're getting a little bit wild up here now, but I like it. I really like the full brow look, as you guys probably know. This is the Glass Tears eyeshadow palette. I don't know if this is a Christmas thing, if it's new, limited. Um, oh, it's part of the Man Ray collection. So yeah, I think that is their Christmas range this year. The highlight in that is gorgeous. I probably should have got that too. But this is a super cute little palette with six eyeshadows. It's the NARS eyeshadows that I actually like. So it's not the jewel intensity ones. I'm looking at this now and I don't really know what to do with it. I just want to put them all on my face. But that green, that green is so gorgeous. I just, I'm going to, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what I can do with it. So um, let's start out with the lighter color, the base. Matte. I'm gonna put that all over my lid first. There isn't really a transitional color in here, which is a pain. So I'm gonna use the chocolatey brown to sort of blend into my crease. Ooh, that is quite pigmented actually. <laughs> I've only got a really small bit out of my brush, but that's definitely come out. I do wanna give my crease a little bit more warmth. So I'm gonna go back into the bronzer I used with the same brush and just kind of blend that into the edges of this eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going to take a flat brush and go into this green. This could all go horribly wrong. Let's pray it doesn't. I should have used eyeshadow primer first. Mm. Never mind. I'm just going to press this all over my lid. Ooh. So I'm just going to keep blending those edges out and then adding more pigment. It's a little bit of drop down, but... Not too much, I think I can just get rid of it. The beauty blender. Okay, I am gonna put this underneath my eyes too. I'm gonna do the same thing with the brown first and then use the teal color on top of that. I'm gonna use the brown and take it quite far down. And then I'm gonna put the green color, just a little bit of it, but higher up than the brown. So they blend together. The last thing I'm gonna do is put some of the gold just in there. I think gold and green look so nice together. So I'm just gonna put that on my tear duct. I definitely need some eyeliner, so I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs highliner. This is my favorite, favorite liner. It's like a really rich, dark brown. I never really use black liner. I always go for brown, no matter what color eyeshadow I'm wearing. It's called Brown Out, this one. So I'm just gonna put that in my waterline and then blend it out with this pencil brush. I always blend my eyeliner out if I'm doing it in my waterline. I think it just looks so much softer. I really hate doing waterline liner on this eye. It's so strange. It just feels wrong. The other eye's fine. I just can't. Oh, I hate the feeling of it on this eye. There we go. Let's pop on some mascara next. Um, I'm using the Selfie Lash Mascara from Tiny Bear Cosmetics. 
I just really love this mascara. It's great. Oh, don't you love how mascara just makes everything okay? Everything that you're concerned about just comes together when you put mascara on. I do have one other thing um, from Tanya Bear Cosmetics. This is a glitter eyeliner and I just, I probably shouldn't use it, but I really want to. It's, it's gold and sparkly and I like it. I might just put a little bit on top of this gold eyeshadow. I love glitter in makeup and there's just never, or there are so few occasions to actually wear it. So I really wanted to use a darker lipstick. Um, I have another product from NARS, one of their um, powder matte lip pigments in the shade Rock With You. Look at this color. I've never used one of these before, so I don't know what they're like, but they're kind of like NARS's liquid lipsticks. Oh, that color is so gorgeous. I do have a nude option though from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of her kissing lipsticks in American Sweetheart. I unboxed this last night in my peer box unboxing. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up here. Um, and I think this is gonna be like the safe nude option. Which one do I do? I'm probably gonna go for this one actually. Um, I don't have a lip liner with me either, so. Straight one it is. I feel kind of boring. I feel like I want the red lip. I'm gonna put some bronzer on actually now that I'm looking at my face because it looks quite pale. I think it might also just be the lights in here. So um, I might go outside and look like a tomato once I finish putting all this bronzer on. So I'm dressed, I am clothed and I'm ready to go and I have about two minutes to show you what I'm wearing. So um, I actually changed up my lipstick. I put on this NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Consuming Red. I thought it was a little bit lighter, it kind of worked better. I put my hair up literally because there was no time to do anything else to it and I've got my Zara earrings on which is definitely my top tip for being able to like pull off the slick back hair look just put some earrings on big ones so the dress I'm wearing is um this like wrap dress I love wrap dresses I think they're super flattering and this one has like a star print which I think is so cute it's just ASOS I think it's ASOS own brand I've got these um like block heel boots from zara on which i really really like i've been looking for these for a while in different stores and they were sold out and then i saw them online so i ordered them i'm probably just going to throw a leather jacket over the top of all of this as well um maybe i should wear a coat actually though it's supposed to snow on the weekend which is exciting but it's so so cold outside so guys i have to leave now um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy getting ready with me and i will see you soon bye